Hi everybody, this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about Dr. Martin's shoes. I recently purchased a pair of Doc Martens and I wanna share with you my experience and what I think you should know before you buy your first pair of Doc Martens. And I wanna start with the silhouette that I bought. I bought the Leona heeled boot the smooth leather boot and I absolutely love it. I chose to go with this silhouette because of its sleek design, very feminine design. I like the heel on it. It's got all the classic Doc Martin touches on it, the yellow uh, threading here along the sole, that nice thick rubber sole, the smooth leather, but the lacing detail is what really drew me to this boot along with the sleek silhouette that gives it a very feminine look to it. Now there are other styles and silhouettes to choose from. I have everything from boots to sandals to loafers and with even within the boot category they have so many different styles to choose from. Like on the split screen I'm showing you three different silhouettes of boots in the women's collection that they have. This silhouette is just so it's just striking to me. And I think that what you need to know before you purchase your first Doc Martin boot is check out their site, take time to study the different silhouettes and designs, read the reviews and the comments because they're gonna be helpful to you. I did not do that. I am one who's always looking for a deal, not wanting to pay retail. So I purchased my boot on a resale platform, which is Poshmark, which I frequent a lot and I've had wonderful experience buying on Poshmark. So I got my first pair of Doc Martens on Poshmark, the Leona, but I got it in a 10 because I wear a nine and a half and they don't sell half sizes. That's something you need to know. Doc Martin does not do half sizes, so only whole sizes, so you need to uh, look at their sizing chart. They offer a sizing chart, measure your foot, and use, like I say, the reviews. Everyone says they run big. I didn't know that, so I sized up, and when I got the size 10, my foot was swimming in the boot. And regrettably, uh, it was too much of a hassle to return it via on Poshmark, so I'm stuck with that boot, even though it's brand new, and so I'm trying to resell it. So if you wear a size 10 and a half or 11, then the size 10 that I purchased would fit you perfectly. So uh, check out my Poshmark account. It is Noble Artisan and I have those boots on sale for the price that I purchased them at, which is $169, which is the next thing that I wanna make, the pricing of Doc Martens. So Doc Martens are relatively, I would say expensive, and I say that because of inflation and all the things, everybody doesn't have just $200 to just kind of throw out on a shoe. So I would say that they are relatively expensive. This shoe goes for $200 on the website. They have others that are like 180 or 170, but around the $200 mark. But on the resale market, you can get a deal and you can get a savings. Now they do sometimes have sales, but if you're not aware of that, I would say opt to looking on the resale market because they do have new it tag shoes that you can get a really good deal for. So I got mine for $169 and that's what I'll be selling the ones that are too big for me for. So I went back on Poshmark and I got the nine. The nine fits perfectly guys. So I agree with all of the reviews that they do run big and you need to size down. So this is a size nine and it fits perfectly. I'm showing you on the split screen what it looks like on. It's just the cutest, most stylish boot. And I decided to style it today with just a DIY thrifted t-shirt and a long thrifted broomstick vintage skirt. And I just think it gives it a nice edginess to the look. And I just added a cute little purse to it. So uh, other thing I want you to know about this boot is that it is very heavy. So I pulled out my weighing scale and I weighed the boot and it weighs two pounds. <laughs> Yes, you heard me right. This boot weighs a little over two pounds. And so wearing both pair, you're adding four pounds of weight onto you, but it doesn't feel like it because of the inside cushion of the boot. And it has that nice kind of bouncy rubber sole that they're known for. And it is just 
feels really comfortable and you could last all day in these. But the great thing about it is this, because they weigh two pounds, this would be a nice little workout um, weight, if you know what I mean. And if you don't know what I mean, let me show you what I mean. Stand comfortably or sit at the end of your bench, feet shoulder width apart, chest lifted, stomach in, and pelvis tucked under. Begin with the weights held so your fingers face your outer thighs. And lift, don't bend your wrists, and down. Up to shoulder height, and down. Don't raise your shoulders, and down. Keep a relaxed grip and control it down. Lift, don't arch your back. Up, don't let the weights roll in or out. Exhale up, inhale down. Don't hyperextend your elbow. Control it up to shoulder level, and down. Ten. And down, lift, no bend at the wrist, and down, last one up, and down, bend your knees and hold. So guys, that's just me having a little bit of fun. Uh, it is very, like I say, weighty. When I first picked up the box, I was like, whoa, this box is heavy. But aside from that, it's still comfortable. The other thing you need to know about Doc Martin shoes is that they, um, come with a long history but if you want to know more about the history of dog martin then definitely check out their website they have an extensive uh just kind of page about the history so another thing you need to know about doc martens aside from the fact that they have a lot of different styles to choose from they've been around a very long time they only sell whole sizes and they're relatively expensive and weighty is that they're super stylish and they will elevate any look. I'm telling you, if you want to add a bit of edginess, a bit of urban chicness to your look and that punk rocker vibe, then definitely go for the Doc Martens. But I highly recommend them. I think they're really cool. I think they're cute and they're a pop culture icon. Um, if you want to have a little bit of pop culture history, definitely get you a pair of Doc Martens. I think they're worth it. Uh, if you're really into fashion for that reason alone. And my name is Audrey. That's my two cents on Doc Martens and what you need to know about them. I've left in the description box a link to the video Insider Business that says why Doc Martens are so expensive, which also gives you more history on the shoe. So definitely check that video out. And that's all I have for you today. My name is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength. Remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so much. I love you too. And I'll see you next time. Bye.